NEF calls for establishment of a National Pastor Release Commission. As the debate on open grazing and ranching by headers ranges on the National Assembly, the Northern Elders Forum, NEF has taken a position saying establishment of National Pastor Release Commission is the best option to get out of the quagmire. The Northern, the Northern Elders Low said that if successive government had found the safety service structures like the OMPADEC, NDDC, Ministry of Niger Delta, Amnesty Program, aimed at resolving a specific changes, a specific set of challenges affecting some communities in the South, there is no justification to receive the creation of special initiative to address the needs of herdsmen if it will lead to lasting peace and stability. In a statement on Sunday by NEF spokesperson, Abdulaziz Sulaiman, it also proposed proclamation of a national policy on grazing and livestock development, NPGOD, to cater for all the needs of all pastoral communities across the country. The Northern Elders Forum has watched the ongoing debate in the National Assembly over the proposed law to end open grazing in the country and establish ranching agencies, which has brought to light differing views from among legislatures. While the bill has passed the first reading and is currently at the stage of a second reading, some Northern Senators led by Senator Adamo Aldiero have vehemently expressed their position to the legislation. The Northern Elders Forum NF recognizes the importance of addressing the challenges posed by open grazing and the need for a more sustainable and a modern approach to livestock management. We call for the immediate setting up of a National Pastoral Commission, NPC, to act on all matters affecting the war and the interest of all citizens whose livelihoods depend on livestock here rearing. Successive governments have found the expeditions to establish structures like OMPADEC, NDDC, Minister of Ministry of Niger Delta, the Amnesty Program, EDC, aimed at resolving a specific set of challenges affecting specific communities in the South. We propose the proclamation of a national policy on grazing and livestock development to NPGLD to cater for the needs of all the pastoral communities everywhere in the country. We call for the immediate proclamation of a special intervention initiated through the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, the Ministries of Finance, National Planning, Agriculture and Water Resources for supporting special livestock development policies and the establishment of special funds to support pastoral communities along the lines of the Angkor Borowas program and other types of federal government interventions. There is, no, there is therefore no justification whatsoever to resist or even question the creation of special initiatives to address the needs of headsmen if these will lead to lasting peace and stability. However, the forum is aware of the concerns raised by some Northern Senators regarding the potential impact of the proposed law on the livelihoods of pastoralists in the region. NEF believes that it is crucial for all stakeholders to engage in meaningful dialogue and consultation to find a balanced and acceptable solution that takes into account the interests of all parties involved. The forum advocates for the development of policies and programs that support the transition from open grazing to ranching in a manner that ensures the well-being of pastoral communities while also addressing the environmental and security issues associated with open grazing. In light of the disagreement in the National Assembly on this matter, NEF calls for a collaborative and inclusive approach to decision-making which consider the diverse perspective and concerns of all stakeholders. Meanwhile, the federal and state government should immediately identify suitable lands across the country and creating greater reserves and cattle routes and where resistance is shown to expropriate such lands as may be required for the proposed full resort to excellent provisions of a land use act and other related. Now, the thing is, it should not be something of force. I will say it again, other people have been doing businesses everywhere if you go to some places you will see other people even relocate because they know say ah this business they move for a particular place you don't hear say somebody buy or somebody you know it is when these people started behaving like vampires that is why people started opposing them that is why some people have even come outside to say it was a code um there are people who don't eat a beef 
Yes, the health benefits of beef, the causes, the risk of eating before the time. The people who will tell you because of the risk, they know they eat beef again. Are you going to blame them? No. The people who do not even want, they don't want, they will tell you they're not interested. Are you going to come outside and tell those people that it is by force? Do, 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 do. Will you come and tell them that it is by force? Of course, it's not possible. Ministry of Agriculture is already taking care of that. Go to your own state and discuss that with your governors. And your progressing law has come to it. And it is the truth. You want them to set up special what? Special how? See, now natural resources might be that. Say this one are natural resources. You won't talk, say, then they, okay, they don't say NDDC. It is because, should I go into, should I start telling us the history of this thing that we already know about? How OPEC came about, how NDDC came about? Come on now. Ha. You will not get any commission cattle. Okay, you're not getting any commission. Cattle business is a private business. Do it in the north. You have enough vast land. My dear, now this one tire me pass. Do it in the so-called north. You claim to in again land. Your plan is to occupy the lands in the Middle East and Southern Nigeria will not work. The Southern Senators and House of Representative members are aware of your evil plans. And the indigenous people of the Eastern Region and Western Region and Middle Belt are watching you. Your plans are failed. The only way to remove hardship from Nigeria is to allow farmers to go back to farm. Thank you. So let us all support the Senate. Remove herdsmen from our farm. Simple. Carry them go back to your community. In order they eat cow meat for deer, make them they sell cow meat for deer. And it is not by force. This is one, is not, it is not by force. You won't stay here. See, let me see for instance. If something happens now, today in the Southeast, and the Northern has start, uh, what's it called, saying, this is me giving an example. By that time, they said, eh, people should go, people should go. Ah. Me, at the point, I'm saying, these people say they don't want to now. Go back to your place. No be, by force. I followed the talk at that time. You did there, then they buy you, they buy your family members, they buy your relatives. Then bury your placenta there. Good. The same way, I'm going to say to the northern now. These people say they don't want they don't feel safe around you guys. Why? Because if they even come outside, go and cry, say, see what people do. You know, people do anything. So we're going to allow them to stay on their own. Your business, you should not be forcing your business down people's throats. It's not possible. It's not done like that. Huh? It's not done like that. The solution for me is simple. After planting your crops in the southeast and south south, when the crop germinates, you spray the farm with otapia pia solution and watch all we have to be cut. <laughs> That eat your crops. This is the final solution. And there will also be fights. There will also be fighting. You think said people never do that? All right, on this note, I've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen until I come your next time. Enjoy the rest of